I was really panicking about my 14-year-old boy now. He was 11 back then. I thought if I come up with a program that could help his environment, you know, and, and everybody else's environment, and that's where Big Brother was born. I could not hear about Reach Up projects and the Big Brother projects. You know, it was it was a project that has a lot of momentum, but is actively doing really positive work and is talking about it. You're brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. It was at an awards dinner. I saw him go on stage. Sophia was uh, very passionate, and you could tell she put a lot of heart into the, the project. And now we've got him on board, um, getting some work experience within the Sharks and, and different elements of the, of the sport. The Yorkshire Sport initially funded Big Brother Burn Grieve via um, Sophia's project Reach Up. We basically provided a mentoring role throughout the time um, and still continue to do so, try and improve uh, aspirations, employment, education, but more importantly to make sure that this session works. I'm one of uh, Big Brother's members. I'm an upcoming champion, hopefully soon to be leader. Every Saturday uh, our lead sessions I just try and get as much people into Big Brother as I can. My role is to make sure everything that we do is in record. Make sure the signing, the clock in, clock out. Being one of the leaders, I come open up the place and then get everybody started, let everybody warm up, set up like different kind of drills in basketball and football and then lead sessions. We work very closely when trying to promote the community in the school. And we saw immediately an advantage in making a link with that. Project. Here at Parkwood Academy we um, encourage and educate, promote um, the way that students should behave in the local community. However, we need to have that joined up working and that joined up thinking. It's even more important for an area like Burn Grieve because of the, the issues that the, that the area has um, and the fact that there aren't many um, youth providers in the area. So actually it provides a really strong mentoring service for young people in the area that really need it. We've heard of um, Reach Up Big Brother in Burn Grieve already doing some fantastic work. It's really important from, from the Violence Reduction Unit that we recognise existing work that's already happening in the communities, work's happening already and we can support that work to make sure that we are engaged with the community. Basically what we are here to do is to support um, our community and Burn Grieve is a part of that but wider to that is um, opportunities for anybody who wants them to come and get work experience uh, and really just support processes that, that Sophia wants to do. Mentoring comes in different forms and fashions, but when it's structured and done in a proper way, it really can support a community thrive. I can never get over the fact that we've got young people from Burn Grieve that are just there to inspire younger people um, and show them something positive rather than always focusing on the negatives in the area. The initiative, it, it struck with us straight away with the Violence Reduction Unit. We're looking at young, young male adults, and the key thing for this is that positive role model. So somebody in the com community that people of a similar age can look up to, they can see that you can go down a different path and that mentor, getting people into education, training, that is the path that we need to be on. Today we're here to like promote Big Brother so more people can know about it and stay off the streets. We had one table, two buses on the side, like obviously with pictures of like what we've done in Big Brother and we also had like um, leaflets to give out to people so they know when, where and what Big Brother's about. Each one of you will have to choose a question. Two people have to have two different questions, okay? Understand? You waking up, jacket off. Yeah. The workshop is just to get around in the community, in the local Tesco, let people know what we're doing, get some more of their ideas and everything and sort of like it's like an outreach project, but more involved with people from the community as well, speaking to them as well. There were no other projects that were really operating in this way. There was a couple that were using young people to help create it, but not solely that the young people would do all of the development work. And it took a lot of trust and, and building relationships in order for that to happen. At Big Brother, we do activities. We can do basketball, football. We can go to sports centres and take them out for a meal, barbecue. We can do everything. We ask them what they want to do, we'll raise the money for it, and then we will do it. The teachers, um, like they organize everything, they're very helpful as well. It makes us both feel like safe. Yeah, safe and 
it makes us feel happy. It makes us feel like there's people who care about us and like just you know. The future for Big Brother will be that it will continue because of the way that it's structured and the way that it's developed. My hope is that a project like this will open the eyes of other funders and other organisations to show that actually if you put some trust in young people they will 100% be able to deliver on that. We want to keep partnering with them and try to reach as many young people as can outside of Burn Grieve, maybe the wider and surrounding areas or set up different hubs. Whatever Sophia wants to do, she's the, she's the leader of the Big Brother Burn Grieve. We're just the instrument she can use to help push home her principles and, and uh, what she's trying to teach. And young people need guidance. They're, they're quite in inquisitive. They're the ones that we tend to kind of break new ground. We always talk about um, be people being deprived. People are not always deprived when they have problems. Sometimes they just have circumstances that are just difficult. And we need to, as a community, be able to recognise and support them through those difficult moments. I think it can only grow and grow. Um, to be honest, we've got lots of ideas in the pipeline that we're working on together. Um, and as those develop, then hopefully that we'll just keep having a positive impact for each other. We can't do it on our own. We can do a lot of work on teaching and learning and general growing up skills but the community needs to support that and we need to support the community to achieve that so that we get more rounded better citizens for the future. We're here to support so we can push that work along and bring as many people into that as we can. We've got the same aim, the same goals, give people opportunities and by working together I'm sure that we'll reduce violence across across Sheffield Hill and in particular Burn Green where this, this work's happening. There's a lot to learn from how successful this project has been and I think there's a lot for other providers to say well actually if it's worked in this area what can we do in our areas as well and I'd hope that the vision for the organisation is that it can expand and perhaps replicate it without losing sight of the, the young people that is there to help. The future of community projects such as Big Brother means that um, our local community, our students within that community can grow and develop and can become really really holistic, wise young people. I see people changing. When people invest their time more in this and when they're more interested in what we want to do, they, they change more. Like it, it definitely prepares you for life after college, like university and that kind of stuff. The leaders here, even the old leaders that were the leaders before me, I could go to them and ask for like, a different kind of advice. Or people in secondary school can come and ask me for advice to help them when they get to college and that kind of stuff. Personally, it's a, it's a big family. They accept you no matter what skin colour, who you are, where you've been. You are part of their family. We have to move forward. We are a family. Turn around, guys. We all come from different past, like different stories, and Big Brother helped us. Big Brother understood that, like what we've experienced. Big Brother is basically about helping people in order to give them the experience and knowledge of something to, to grab a hold on, basically. I want this to be like the big thing that other people like to talk about it. Like we reach out to schools, colleges, uni, and I cannot wait, I'm looking forward to it. Three words to describe Big Brother. <laughs> oh God! Oh right. So. <laughs> Motivational, life-changing, inspiring. Respect, family, hope. Inspirational, resilient, creative. Safe, learning curve, and family. Entertaining, exciting, and safe. Love. Brotherhood, respect. Positive, unity, success. Inspirational, supportive, helpful. Peace, family and equality. Community based, positive, empowerment. Unity, love and fun. Critical, life enhancing, support. Essential, life changing, refreshing. Powerful, dynamic, Inspirational. Fun. Empowering. Nurturing. Family. 
love and unity. Safe, diverse family.